Uh, welcome to a very special edition of Automation Revealed, coming to you from UI Path Forward in Las Vegas. I'm here with Daniel Dines, our CEO and co-founder. Daniel, welcome and thank you very much for uh, joining us today. Um, so over this series with uh, the audience, we've been sharing uh, you know, uh, customer stories, real life uh, stories from our customers on uh, how they have uh, managed their automation journey. You spend a lot of your time meeting customers who are uh, who have been with us and uh, working with us for the last yeah. three years, some new ones. Uh, can you just uh, share with our um, audience here a couple of uh, standout stories for you? Well, what was uh, the most interesting this year is that uh, customers didn't talk so much about uh, cost savings, which are great. I heard stories of cost savings north of $200 million. Wow. But uh, they talk about how this technology saved human lives because of reducing human errors, like in healthcare, or how this technology has helped like three million more refugees because UN didn't have the budget, so they have used automation to reach an extra three million refugees. They, these are the things that uh, basically move me a lot. So it's. Uh, it's more, it's, it's really the, the way it, change, it changes fundamentally the way works is done. That is, that is an excellent uh, example, Daniel. So what you're saying is that uh, customers are moving away from just the cost saving to actually making a, a difference to, to human life. Yeah. Especially the UN story is, is uh, something yeah. very interesting. Uh, what other stories do you have to share? I mean, I, I heard one from you recently about a, an employee at a company who'd been for 40 years. I think that is a very interesting one for people to know, if you could yeah. share that one. Yeah. Singtel is one of our major customers in Singapore and they are one of the first to enroll into a robot for every person initiative. So I had the pleasure to, to meet uh, a lady that was there for 47 years oh. and she had to do a lot of manual reporting work. One of the process involved like 2,000 clicks. 2,000 wow. clicks, four and a half hours. And she was able by herself to automate that process. And she is now, uh, and the robot can do it now in like three minutes. That is, that is a phenomenal story. So a business user who's been in this company for 47 years has managed to themselves automate their own process and make their lives yeah. much uh, better. So, so this is not just about you know uh, reducing cost, reducing the number of people in the business, but this is much yeah. much about employee impact. And this is about uh, increasing productivity and increasing increasing in the end uh, you know employee happiness, which in turn also increase productivity. It, it's it's a good cycle, isn't yeah. it? You start on this journey yeah. and then it kind of gives gives you back again and again. Yeah. Daniel, uh, what, what advice would you have for, for customers who are, say, stuck right now in, in you know, kind of scaling to the next level of their automation journey for whatever reason? My advice is to, is to go big. This technology works. This is not about technology. We, we've seen on multiple industries, multiple different customers, that technology works when it is implemented properly. I think finding the right partner, designing an initial good program will, will go a long way. But the fundamental truth here is that technology works and deliver automation of manual work that nobody want to do. It's not about replacing people, it's about replacing activities that no one want to do. So, so the key message is, it's no more about proving the technology. The technology yeah. works. Yeah. It is about going big, bringing in the right partner and making sure that all the manual work that is being done is, is eliminated, right? And, and that is a great message because I think that will help people uh, take the next step into the journey if they start thinking big yeah. and adding more value. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, they, I know uh, we're short on yeah. time, but uh, I would like to thank you very much for spending time with us. I'm sure that our viewers have found this very, very useful. Uh, thank you for yeah, being here. Of course, and, of course. Uh, Always a pleasure. Thank Kedda. you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Take bye -bye. care. Thanks. Bye.